Hey, it's Patrick. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your audio onto YouTube. The issue with this is that YouTube only allows users to upload specific types of video files. Your exported project will likely be in MP3, WAV, AIFF, or some other type of audio file format that can't be uploaded to YouTube as is. So what we're going to do is take an audio file and combine it with either an image or video file and then upload that to YouTube. Now I'm on a Mac so to do this I'll be using iMovie, Apple's completely free video editing program. If you're a PC user you can do exactly the same thing with Windows Video Editor which, like iMovie, is a completely free piece of software. But in this video, I'll be going through the motions in the Mac version of iMovie. Right, first things first, open iMovie. It'll open in the last project you were working on, so if you see this screen, you need to hit Projects in the top left to go back to the Project Select screen. If this is your first time opening iMovie, you'll probably be taken straight here. Now I need to click on Create New and select iMovie from the options that pop up. Okay, so in the iMovie workspace, you should see this Import Media section front and center. Here is where we will add our audio file and image or video file. The absolute most simple way to do this is to resize the iMovie window a bit, then drag and drop your audio file into this section. You'll then need to get hold of an image or video clip to go with your song. This could be album artwork if you have some, or just a nice picture or clip you like. If you want to use some royalty free stock images or video, sites like Pexels have thousands of free to use visual goodies on offer, and you can even search for specific things. Once you have your image downloaded, again drag and drop it into the Import Media section. Now drag your audio file from the Media section into the project timeline at the bottom. Next drag your image or video down to the timeline as well. If you're using a single static image here, you can just click and drag the edges of the image in the timeline to match the length of your audio file. You can also add fade in and fade out to your image too. If you're using a video clip, drag it into the project timeline, then either drag it in again as many times as you need to match the length of your audio, or copy and paste from within the timeline by selecting the video clip, hitting Command and C, then Command and V. Once you've got things looking and sounding good, you can export your soundtrack image slash movie by clicking on the share icon in the top right of the iMovie window. In the menu that pops up, you want to pick export file and not Facebook and YouTube. Selecting export file gives you much more control over the quality of your exported file than the Facebook and YouTube option does. You can adjust things like the dimensions of your outputted video here, Pro tip, 1080p is probably fine for most things, and select what quality you'd like it to be. When you're happy with these settings, hit next, and you'll be able to rename your file and select where it will be saved to. Hit save and your project will export. You can check on its progress via the small circle in the top right of the iMovie window. Once it's done, you'll be able to find your brand spanking new movie file where you chose to export it to, ready to be uploaded to your YouTube channel. From here, sign into your YouTube channel, click on the Create button in the top right, then drag and drop your video file into the box that pops up. 
And that's all there is to it, it's actually pretty straightforward. What isn't quite so straightforward is actually finishing songs in the first place. Watch this video next for some tips that might help.